So in this video, I want to go through some examples of integration with standard functions. So with this first one, we've got a curve has gradient function dy by dx equals 3 cosine of 4x plus 2. And passes through the point pi 8. Find the equation of the curve. OK, so what we need to know is how we integrate cosine of kx. So the integral of cosine of kx is going to be equal to 1 over k, and cosine integrates to sine, so sine of kx plus c. So that is the result that we need to utilise here. So when we integrate this, 3 cosine of 4x will integrate to 3 lots of 1 over 4 sine of 4x. So 3 quarters sine of 4x. The 2 will integrate to 2x and will have a plus c constant of integration. So that is the general solution to this differential equation. Now we can work out the particular solution by now substituting in pi 8. So we substitute in pi 8 and we'll get 8 is equal to 3 quarters sine of 4 pi plus 2 lots of pi plus c. Now sine of 4 pi is 0, so that's gone. So that implies that c must be 8 take away 2 pi. Therefore, y is equal to 3 quarters sine of 4x plus 2x plus our constant of integration, 8 take away 2 pi. And that is the particular solution I'm looking for for question number 1. Now, for number two, we have the integral of 2e to the minus 3x take away 3e to the minus 2x. Now, for this, we need to remember how we integrate e to the kx. So the rule for that is that we would have 1 over k e to the kx plus some constant c. So our integral must be 2 lots of 1 over minus 3e to the minus 3x. So that will be minus 2 thirds e to the minus 3x. And then we've got minus 3 times 1 over minus 2e to the minus 2x. So minus 3 divided by minus 2 is plus 3 halves e to the minus 2x plus some constant c. And that's it. That's my answer for number two. OK. And our last one. Now, for our last one, we need to recall. Uh, we've got write uh, the integral of 3 over x plus 5 over 2x as a single logarithm. We need to recall that the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to the natural log of mod x plus c. Now, the first one here, we've got 3 over x. Now, 3 over x is the same as 3 times 1 over x. So that would be 3 natural log of x when it integrates. OK, so that's 3 lots, 3 times of 1 over x. So it integrates to 3 times natural log of x. Now, the 5 over 2x is 5 halves times 1 over x. So that will integrate to 5 halves natural log of mod x plus some constant c. Now, we need to write this as a single logarithm. OK, so we have 3 log x and 5 halves log x. So we can add those together. So in total, uh, we will have 11 halves natural log of mod x plus a constant c. Now, using the power law for logarithms, we can bring the 11 halves up to the power here. So we have the natural log of the modulus of x to the 11 halves plus c. 
Now the C, I need to write this all as a single logarithm. So I need to write the C as a log in order to bring it into this logarithm here. Now we know that we can replace C with the natural log of e to the C. Because the natural log of the e, they cancel one another, they are inverse functions of one another. So this C and that are the same. We have the log laws to show that. So now we can bring those two logs together using our product rule. And that would be the natural log of e to the c, x to the 11 halves. And now it's written as a single logarithm. Now you could, because e to the c is just a constant, write that as another constant to make it look even neater. And you could write it as a, x to the 11 halves where a is equal to e to the c. That is an alternative way you could write it.